Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. We're in Baston. I just had to say it like that. Or Middleton, Cheevers, Neely, or you name it. So much history here. Takes the return feed. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. The Bruins take it along the wall. Can't pull the trigger. Puck scooped up by Zaka. Great save by Soderblom. Boston's got the puck in the corner. And there's the save. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Let's see the call here. The Bruins are getting two minutes for tripping. The Blackhawks will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one. The goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. A huge opportunity there, James, to get the go-ahead goal in this game. You know what that does? It creates a ton of momentum, but the bite stops it. Picked up along the boards by Hall. Quick stop by Olmark. Sends it over to Hunt. Boston's in now. Moves it to the middle. Getting off to good starts, and look at this, case in point right here. Well, yeah, you get up by one goal early in the game, and it just creates momentum all around your bench. Everyone gets on the ice. They want to contribute. They want to be the one to get the goal on the board and continue to increase this lead. I think they've been real effective to start this game. And now he angles it across to Lindholm. The center feed! Oh, and he whiffs on it! The Blackhawks have it for their own. The Bruins have possession shorthanded. Handles the puck. Steps into the offensive end. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Pasternak's penalty is almost expired. Chicago's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. Sometimes when you're on a power play, you can get caught cheating. And I think you have a lot more time than you do, and it winds up in the back of their net. That's a tough one. The Bruins looking against the half wall. And he totally whiffs on that one. The Bruins have it now. Still has possession. Cannon of a shot. Comes up with the block. Here's a short pass to Tube. Takes a shot. Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop by Soderblom. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. He scores! And look who's at it again as the points continue to pile up. Well, 50 is a huge number, James, and everyone around him knows that his teammates are up. They're congratulating him. You can see the stick taps right there. But this has been an unbelievable year for him so far, and it's incredible to think what he can continue to do. Well, good things happen when you put the puck to the net, and this rebound comes right back out to him. But he's trapping, he's sniffing, he's hounded, and he finds the back of the net on the second shot. Still lots of time left in the period. Boston's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. The Bruins win the faceoff. Tries to get it to Wenberg. A chance in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Oh, he destroys him on the play. The cliche. Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. The Bruins have it now. And he moves it up to McAvoy. Let's get the call. The Blackhawks are going to be short-handed as they are called for tripping. Man advantage here in the set. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. 
Oh, that's tremendous poise the defensive end to break off the pass. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Saka. Moves it to the middle. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Sent into the offensive zone. The Bruins have it against the wall. From the open ice, they gain the line. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. You got to get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity. Oh, what a save of the play! Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Chicago's moving it into the offensive end. And it's a quick pass to Gregor. Whistle blown, stopping the play. The Bruins will be forced to serve two minutes for cross-checking. Kiki's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. The Blackhawks will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Takes the puck. And that one's turned away. And some good footwork to kick it away. Higgs moving the puck through his own zone. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Sends it over to Clifton. Quick pass to Kane. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Denies him with the save. Passes it to Kane. Here they come on the attack. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Reinhardt's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Chicago's won the draw. And they're off to the races for the loose puck. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Boston's got it in the neutral zone. Zadorov's lugging the puck. The Bruins pick up steam and are on the attack. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. Well, this power play unit was stagnant, James. They didn't create any offense. They didn't get any pucks to the net, and there were really no chances. Here's a chance in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Great vision to see that stretch pass. And that's broken up by Dubé. Quick feed to Wenberg. Receives the pass. The Bruins played along the boards. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. Knocked away by Wenberg. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Dubé's got it along the wing. And that's a smart heads up play by Bedard. The Blackhawks are doing a great job of anticipating the play, and that's why the puck is on their stick. They're intercepting pucks all game long. They've got to make good on them. They've got to transfer it, head north, and start cashing in. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. Sends it in front. Picked off in front. Taken along the wall by Taves. Athenasiu's got it along the boards. Centering feed! And that's blocked in front. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Boston's got it in their own zone. Now over to Lindholm. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Some great thievery in the open ice. Moves it to Oposa. And he comes up big with the stick save. Tipped all of it with the paddle. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive. He's competitive and he wins the battle. Kane's great at getting by defenders by deking them out with his puck on a string zone ability. Marchand's dog of determination helps him win those 50 50 puck battles, guys. His no contest zone ability is how he maintains possession for his team. I'm expecting one of these players to make a big difference for their team before the game is over. Back to you guys. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight.
The Bruins lead here in the second period and they have been the more active team offensively. Well, let's see if we can get some fireworks going here as period number two is underway. Well, sure, we got two. They score! Big goal from David Pasternak! This is such an impressive goal, James. He's in a tight space, and he knows exactly where his opponent is, and those silky mitts, they're put to work. You know how often he's practiced on those. He makes his move not once, twice, multiple times to be able to bury it. The Bruins make it a 3-0 game here in period number two. Well, it's still in the second period, James, so there's still a lot of one way left. But if they can continue to stay consistent and play this way, it's going to be tough for their opponent to get back in. They're pitching the shutout right now, and for a reason. They've been tight defensively as well. Play whistle dead. Better than coming up. You have to constantly remind yourself to move your feet and get closer to the action. You wind up reaching, you take the feet out of your opponent, and you wind up with a tripping ball. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Benito's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Winberg's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Here's a pass in front, and that's intercepted. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Winberg's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Dubé. Here's a rock a shot. They score! A power play goal! Well, especially teams are often the difference maker. It's why you spend so much time in practice working on them, James, and they took advantage of their opportunity. Coaches are always harping on pass execution. Well, this is a clear example. When the pass is crisp and it's on the tape, it's on the money, it finds the back of the net. The Bruins look like a freight train here in period number two, continuing to find offense. Oh, there's no question that they're steamrolling their opponent here. I mean, the ice is tilted, and it is one way, James. They found a way to maintain possession. How about the shots they're getting on net? Unbelievable. Directed over to Wenberg. Boston's got him along the wall. Chicago's got the puck now. Great use of the stick here at center ice. And down he goes as the puck goes free. And now it's grabbed by Wenberg. Kubelik's got it against the boards. He scores! right now. His ability to finish, to know where everyone is around him, just complimenting his teammates. He's been excellent this season. I really like the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. The Bruins can do no wrong this evening, especially in the offensive zone here, Cheryl. Well, the score is a testament to the way they've been playing. I mean, they've been dominating in the offensive zone. They've got the puck on their stick. They're driving play, but they've been really urgent, even with the lead here. A great game for them so far. Too much traffic in the lane. He was locked in there. Allmark's done a good job making that save, especially because it's been a quiet night for him. It's been an offensive explosion in the other end, but when you're faced with a save, you have to make it. You don't want to open the door for your opponent. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Here comes the call for the official. The game is getting out of hand. You're down by a bunch. You take another penalty. you got to find a way to just reset your composure. Puck grab by McAvoy. From the blue line, they take control of it. Centering pass in front, and that goes off someone in front. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Wenberg's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Jones plays it now. Moves the puck across to Taves. Great use of the stick at center by McAvoy. 
Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. McAvoy has been putting on a passing clinic tonight, James. Eyes in the back of his head and just distributing it to the right place at the right time. And that goes off a player in front. Here's a short pass to McAvoy. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Feeds the puck over. He's already got two goals. Another one would be fantastic. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Soderblom. Denies him again. They made some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Marchand's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Chicago's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. The Blackhawks move the puck in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Benino. Here they come inside the neutral zone. And now it's over to Gregor. Well, with a hefty lead, the team looks comfortable, and certainly that power play did. Yes, they didn't execute. It didn't seem to have the urgency that they had earlier in the game. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Kane. Tries to get it over to Hall. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Bedard's got the puck. Boston's got the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Centering pass, and that's stopped. Picked up along the wall by Bedard. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the puck over to White. On the attack along the boards. Chicago's got the puck. Angles it over to Murphy. Gaining momentum along the boards. Bats the puck right out of midair. Gets it over to Marchand. Here's a chance to the middle. And that goes off a body and a ride. Chicago's got it across the line. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Moves it quickly over to White. Boston's on the attack. Here he is on the backhand. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Well, this has become the hottest ticket in town. Literally another sellout. What can you say? This is an ongoing theme now, Cheryl. It's an ongoing theme because they're on a roll when you're playing well and it's a lot of fun to watch. People want to be in the building to see your next W. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Now a quick pass to Taves. Gaining momentum up along the side. Here's a pass to the middle. What a chance, but they can't connect. Play blown dead, let's get the call. Radish is going to the box for tripping. Well, I love the sequence that they used earlier on the power play, and they were successful on it, James. They may look to set up low off of one side, like to cycle the puck, but they can also go to low to high very quickly. But the key is that you got to move the coverage so that you can open up your lane, and then you can attack the net. Throws it in. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Taken by Gregor. And that's poked away by Haig. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Haig's got it in the offensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Hunt. Let's the wrister go. Denies him in close. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Quick pass to Winberg. The Blackhawks pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. And he's got that one. Boston's got the puck along the wall. The Bruins move it in. The pass in front. Off the stick and they can't complete the play. And that's blocked. Radish is almost out of the box. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. The Blackhawks are back to even strength here. That's another great job on the PK, James, knowing exactly where to be at the right times and knowing what your opponent is thinking. And real effective job there. Cuts into the paint. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Moves the puck along the half wall. Can't keep a hold of it. Takes the pass. Moves it over to Radish. Reinhardt's going to play it against the half wall. Pass deep inside the offensive zone. And that was a good
good heads up read to make that save. Zaka's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Shot! Tried to pick a spot, but that goes off the side of the net. The Bruins continue to lead here late in the second period by a wide margin. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Hall. And nearing the final minute of the second. Boston's got it in their own zone. Here's a pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Fires it. And that's denied by Soderblom. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Boston's coaching staff must be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. Lots of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the second. Takes the feed. Slides the puck across to Hall. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports. We've got a third period just around the corner. Fans are buzzing. Teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Here we go, third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Blackhawks are right where they should be in this game, James, and that is behind entering the third period. Why? They just haven't had the puck. It hasn't been on their stick, which means they haven't been able to generate anything offensively. Sends the pass in front, and that's intercepted. Jones carries the puck in his own zone. The Blackhawks carry it along the wall. Great save by the goaltender to stay with that tip. And this is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Boston's going on the attack as they gain the zone. They score! Well, that was put on a tee, and that one-timer was a rocket. Well, he nailed it, didn't he, Jim? Perfect great transfer, beat the goaltender clean. The pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. Boston's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves it to the middle. Scores! What a finish on the play! play as they catch their opponent flat-footed on transition and they create the numerical advantage. Odd man rush perfectly executed. Speed, puck movement, and of course finish. The Bruins are having themselves a night and they probably don't want this one to end, Pounder. Nah, I wouldn't. If you're patting the stats and you're putting up these kind of numbers, I mean, from start to finish, they've imposed their will on their opponent. Quick feed to Verona. Oh, great core strength to hang on to the puck after that. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. Kubelik's crossed the line and gained the zone. Moves it to the middle, and it goes off a stick and off target. Stopped by the goaltender. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Boston's shown no signs of slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Directs it on over to Jones. Pokes the puck away. Chicago's looking to break out. Tries to feed it over to Radish. Slides it across to Verona. And he slides it quickly to Taves. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. Oh, my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in, James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. The Bruins have 
been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. The Blackhawks win that offensive zone faceoff. Misses wide of the net. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. And it's a quick pass to White. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. Huge stop by Sheldon. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Stones him in front. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Good use of the body on the play. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Lindholm's got it behind his own net. Hopeless stick handling in his own zone. Boston's got the puck along the wall. And he's got the answer for that one. There's the whistle, and here's the call. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denied that one. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's without working your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Boston's been effective in all three zones. They've held play in the offensive zone. They've carried through the neutral zone. And in particular, they've been fantastic in their own zone. They protected the house. They protected their goal. Scores! He's on the board. Uh, and this is nothing new for him. His 20th goal of the season, James. And he's got unbelievable ability to disguise his shot. Absolutely incredible. 20 already. Some goalies have cat-like reflexes. And tonight, he's just a little get across and unfortunately it hits him he doesn't get all of it and it winds up in the back of the net the Bruins continue to attack the net here at period number three adding yet another goal to their score well it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight James have also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice not just the body language but and they score well, I really like the effort areas in this game, James. You know, they didn't get frustrated, but they have found a way to break through in this game. You gotta figure, you gotta hope that maybe they can shell one back to back here and get themselves back in this game. Well, this is a real tough play for a goaltender to get a read on, James. You're in that inner slot area, the puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. Chicago's fan base watching, streaming, taking this one in wherever, probably wondering, where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know what your team can play like, you just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals. They need a pile of them if they even want to have an opportunity to get their tender out of the net. Dubé's taking it from his own end. The Bruins played along the wing. And the save. Here's a chance in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. The Red Wings are up next according to the league schedule makers and no love lost between these two sides. Tickets still available, should be a good one. The Bruins can simply take this on cruise control based on the lead that they now have here in the third. Puck picked up by Haig. Shot on net, huge stop by Sheldon. standing by with what she got on a better performance. Marshawn's been buzzing and he's been rewarded here. His name in the box score proves he's had a strong night, guys. Saka's won the draw. Moves it to Carlo. Sends the pass in front. They score!
The Bruins continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Puck scooped up by Hall. Oh, what a stop by Omar. And that's just out of reach. Slides it over with pace to Kane. The Bruins look to start the transition game. Now he slides it up to Marchand. Penalty coming up here. Well, the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if they'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. The Bruins will go to work here in the offensive zone. Gets a stick on it. And now it's grabbed by Dubé. Centering pass. And he couldn't handle the pass as he takes a bump in front. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Here we go. Pucks in deep. From the left wing, takes the feed. And he takes the feed. Chicago's got possession while undermanned. Poked away at center by McAvoy. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Here's a chance in front. And that goes off a stick. Hannafin's got it in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Benino. Looks to make a play over to Gregor. Great poke check on the reach. Boston's in transition. get a breather here for the team. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. The Blackhawks win the draw on their own end. Picked up along the boards by Marchand. Here's a short pass to Donato. Chicago's crossed the line and on the attack. Yeah, they're handedly winning in this one, James, and they didn't execute on the power play, but there's a bunch of athletes on that team that want that job, and it's about executing to the best of their ability. You know they wanted it. They've got some momentum here. Here's the pass. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Final seconds of this one, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money